I'm Stefan Rosch and I'm here at the Sonex warehouse and I just got lucky I put my hands onto this used track slash mountain bike it's an immaculate bike in really good technical condition but it did lose its shine and in this video we're gonna show you how to bring back the old glory in this bike before we do that have a quick look around to see the exact condition at the moment <laughs> In order to create some access, I'm going to remove some easy removable parts. For instance, I'm going to take the wheels out and I have to pull the crank off in order to get to this area. That will be done very quickly. So, action. So we also, we also have a 250ml bottle. This is the one liter bottle. I just want to point out to you, it's very important that we use the right polishing. This has got no dust. It's water-based, no silicones, no fillers. We've got a little machine here to get into all the small areas, but it's still going to be fiddly, but we're going to rely on this combination to get the shine back and really get the, get the glory back here on this frame. We made good progress. Um, the carbon, this carbon composite came out very well. The bike looks shiny, looks good. And uh, we even done the wheels, so I'm really happy with everything. So now what we want to do, we want to protect this frame um, to make it easier to maintain it and also to protect it from scratches, etc. So the first thing is we use um, um, special decals uh, provided by Frame Skin for the specifically cut out for that bike. We're gonna put them on and um, I'm going to show you that procedure. Once we're done with that, we will move to a ceramic coating. This is how it needs to be positioned. And let's push the water out. This is our choice of ceramic coating, the Sonic CC36. We're gonna start with a prepare, with a wipe down, with a prepare. Then we're gonna apply the base coat. We give that one hour to cure, and we finish off with a gloss coat. I've got three color coated ultra fine um, rags here to do the job, and I think it will go quite quickly. For these little tricky areas where this pad can't go in, I'm gonna use this pad as a soft pad, and I think it will move in nicely. Okay guys, let's start with the base coat. Obviously spray away from the vehicle. A little bit prime this pad to start off with. And then we start to... It's important to really to be a bit systematic so all areas are covered now i covered all areas where that flat pad works and then i will do the detailing around it in with a red pad and it's just flashed off nicely it's all nice and dry now i think perfect to come with this rag now number two rag and just polish it out a bit I 
that the wheels, I mean, the wheels have been tidied up nicely with the polishing. They did take a beating already before, you know, but they, we do what we can do. And now we're going to give it a clean and then we give it a ceramic coating as well. It's a beautiful carbon fiber wheels. And this product will just leave a perfect clean surface here for our ceramic coating. So we've given the base coat, the ceramic, one hour to cure on the surface and do what it has to do. And now we're going to move on to the gloss coat. For the gloss coat application, really prime that pad well. Prime it really well so it's nice and smooth. And then here we go straight to the application here. It's very simple and quick process to get the gloss coat on. It's really wipe on and wipe off. It. We have actually polished the bike and brought it back to the old shine. Then we did the frame skins and then we did the ceramic coating with two stages with a with a base coat, the ceramic and with a gloss coat over it. And now we just finished assembling the bicycle and it's ready to go. And we actually I'm gonna take it for a test ride and after the test ride I will show you how to actually the maintenance products on this bicycle. But here is the reveal. Mm -hmm.